What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the newly released 2021-22 Donruss Optic T-Mall box from Panini. Really don't know what to expect from this one because I remember watching the uh, Pac-Man video last year and the set was, well I mean his specific box was super unlucky so hopefully that's not the case with this one. Uh, you can't pick these up for a hundred bucks give or take uh, so not bad but it's really going to depend on what's inside. So let's get right into it guys if you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more. Consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. As always, it really supports the channel and really helps us grow. But let me get all the packs out actually, because I do want to show you uh, the side and the back of the box. Okay, so 4x20 format, 80 cards total. And what we're mainly after is the stuff up here, all this stuff is just like extra information from Panini for some reason. But anyway, let's uh, bring this a little bit closer. So yeah, I mean, you're mainly after the uh, short print red waves, uh, super short print gold waves. And there's also a chance to pull uh, an auto and those come in the green wave parallels. And other than that, it's just going to be a bunch of inserts in red or gold wave format. And yeah, that's basically it. I mean, if we get really, really unlucky, we won't really see much color, but... Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of packs here and each one of them is going to have uh, only four cards so probably going to go through this fairly quickly and here's pack number one our first rookie is going to be jalen suggs insert steph curry splash uh i know a lot of you guys are familiar with this set at this point you know a lot of products have have come out and this is probably like some of the last wave stuff to come out for Don optic the um new season stuff already came out you know the new draft picks and here is Jalen Green at base. Let's put him over there with LeBron James, T minus. Really, really big fan of the uh, Donruss inserts. Just hope that those aren't really gonna take over what kind of parallels we get from this box. Bogdanovich. And it looks like our first insert is gonna be some color. I don't think it's gonna be a wave. It's gonna be like a hollow. So no rookie from this one, but we are getting a KD My House Donruss Optic. Okay, we add this guy to that pile. And yeah, so I know I mentioned the new draft class. Uh, we did do a review of the first off the line Chronicles draft picks from that set. We did pull a pretty nice card, not gonna lie. So you might wanna check it out if you're curious and if you wanna learn about the uh, new draft class. And 20 packs is a lot. I'm so not used to seeing this many packs in one product. And here we go. Miles McBride and Shaq. Winner stays. First time seeing that one. So this pack feels a little thicker, kind of like actually the one where we got an optic hollow. So let's see if that feeling is actually correct. And it does look correct. So it like it's not thick enough to where you know you can tell that there's like a patch in it or something, but something feels different about the packs that have like color in them so you might want to look out for that zach levine wish that one was a red wave but let's see who it's gonna be it's not a rookie is it porzingis it might be that is porzingis all right i have no idea why i have his head memorized like that but here is our first red wave let's put this one in a sleeve and then of course we'll do a recap at the end counting how many uh, red waves that we got let me just set this down over there. And let's go to the next pack. Wait, actually, I totally forgot about the giveaway I was supposed to do at the beginning of the video. Um, all right, let's 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 do it now. So we, we're just going to be giving away some uh, singles here. Uh, Cam Thomas had a 249 that we pulled from uh, Chronicles from the 2021-22 set. And a throwback John Jenkins auto, courtesy of uh, Tradiac. Big shout out to that guy. This one is all the way from uh, 2012. And we are giving away Tools of the Trade triple patch. So a Jalen Suggs patch. This one is potentially player worn, even though it's not match worn or anything, uh, because it's not uh, his rookie card. We got this from the draft fix box that I was telling you about earlier. But yeah, all you have to do is hashtag uh, best ball cards down below and you should be good to go. We will do the draw probably like a week from when this video comes out. But yeah, let's get back to the pack that we're supposed to rip here. Really, really hoping to see some IO or Jalen Green. 
in red would be really, really nice. Or Kaminga in gold actually would be pretty sick. All right, so another insert. That's what I was talking about earlier that I didn't want to happen, but it is Anthony Edwards. So the Anthony Edwards Red Wave T minus. These are like way cooler than last year's. I don't remember them being as cool. I mean, actually they upped the quality control on um, Optic as well. So I'm glad, I'm glad they did that. I think I totally put the Red Wave earlier Oh no, it was just a hollow. Okay, might as well just do this right now. Split the hollows from the regular inserts because don't think I'm gonna do a recap for the regular inserts later. But getting a few at this point is a good sign. So we know we're not getting skunked in this box. Shangun over there. My house is Zion. Oh, how we've missed Zion. Entire season last season. Almost forgot about the guy, but good to have him back. Luca Garza. And Keon Johnson is going to be our first rookie for the Clippers. First rated rookie red wave. Still quite a few packs to go. And since the new draft class stuff is coming out, it's gonna be confusing for a lot of people, especially when they're um, looking or they're, they're still ripping products like these when the new products have come out. Maybe some overlap of the rookie class is gonna be a little bit confusing when you're getting um, a gold wave, for example, that is in no way, shape or form gonna be Paolo Bancaro. But it looks like we're getting an auto as well. So I like to see green wave auto right in front of a gold wave. Let's actually put these over here. And let's look at it at the very end. And I think we're gonna get a parallel from this pack. So right now it's maybe one for one. All right, two for two. You can just tell like something is, just feels very, very different about um, the packs that have parallels in them versus the ones that don't. I mean, I don't know, is it like that much thicker? I wouldn't think so. Optic is uh, relatively thick compared to like, you know, normal paper sets or Prism even. It's probably the same thickness as Prism, but definitely one of my favorite sets of all time. Donruss Optic, uh, Select, and Prism, I want to say. In terms of like the uh, more affordable sets, we're not talking like high end at all. That's a completely different story. But here is Corey Kispert and Steph Curry. Red Wave would have been really, really sick in a Gold Wave, actually, with the color match and everything. But, yeah, no gold for Golden State there. Okay, so actually way better than I expected because we are getting a lot of parallels, which is always nice. You hate to see boxes that have, like, only a few, and, yeah, it's really, really discouraging. But also, we got an auto. Got a gold wave, so I have no idea what those cards are going to be. Could be whatever cards, but we'll find out in a little bit. Brandon Boston Jr. And some more Steph Curry. Winner stays. All right. Five packs left, including that one. Looks like we've got another insert hollow. Almost thought it was gold. It was just another T minus. And Steph Curry for the PC. PC is doing very, very well right now. All we need is that gold. I don't know. It'd be pretty nuts if that uh, green wave auto was a Steph and behind it was a gold wave Steph. The entire collection would be complete. All right, so we're getting two gold waves. I'm already more than satisfied, I guess, for at least the price point of the box at this point. But it's not a rookie, unfortunately. James Wiseman though. All right, so this is like maybe third year overlap of like rookies that like we, we were like introduced to. But this one is slightly leaning towards the right in terms of the borders, but not bad. Hey, Golden State and Gold, I'll take it any day. Let's put this one right in the middle. Two packs left. Can we get three gold waves per box? I doubt it. 
I was really, really thinking you're only gonna get two. And Steph Curry. All right, it's a Golden State box for sure. The last few cards better be Golden State or Chicago. I'll be more than satisfied with this box. That's it, we got relatively lucky. I mean, let's find out in a little bit. I've seen some pretty rough boxes. This is probably one of the only cards that has like some surface issue on it. Otherwise, it's been way better than last year. Last year's product had so much, so much quality control issues. But here's Express Lane Giannis. And let's take a look at these last few cards. Josh Hartz into Ricky Rubio. Should we do Gold Wave or Auto Last? Let's do Gold Wave first. Let me put this down. And it is going to be Kyle Kuzma. Mr. Kuz Control. But for a second, I thought it was Evan Mobley because of this color. That would have been really, really sick, actually. Gold Wave, Evan Mobley. But there we go. That's our second Gold Wave. Two vets. So hopefully this auto will make up for it. GHD. Let's flip it around. Garfield Hurd. Did not expect to see a retro auto here, but look at that. Throwback Suns auto. Auto looks really clean, actually, except for the bottom here, probably just a little bit off the sticker. But there we go, guys. This one is also actually very off center. So I don't know, maybe quality control on the surface got a little bit better, but the borders or their cutting machines still need some work. But yeah, two gold waves, and let's actually show you all the other uh, parallels that we got. Okay, so three hollow inserts, two Steph Currys, and one KD. Love to see it. And our red waves got one, two, three, three vets, four vets. And one rookie red wave and one Anthony Edwards red wave insert. Two vet golds. So we kind of got unlucky in the uh, in the uh, wave department, but we did end up with an auto. I don't think these are guaranteed in every box, so kind of got lucky. But if you're a Suns fan and are interested in this card, definitely reach out to me. You know, we'll figure out a, a trade or whatever we can uh, do to kind of help add things to your collection. But um, yeah, in terms of like verdict. Overall, pretty unique parallels. You know, I'm, I'm always a big fan of Team Aller Asia products, you know, just because of the uniqueness. But this one really feels like a full retail box, like in a way, rather than something closer to like a choice box or like the other Asia formats that we're so used to. Uh, but um, yeah, obviously the best cards to get from these are gonna be the Gold Waves, the Green Autos, uh, but a color match rookie that unfortunately we didn't get, um, you know, is always sick to pull. Uh, chase ones, that is, but uh, yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, found it helpful at least, and uh, thanks for watching. Stick around for more content and breaks, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.